Hey, welcome back to the food forest. The days are getting shorter, and the work days are getting longer, and we are getting back from work later. Well, and kids hockey is starting up too, so I'm going to try to make as many videos as I can, um, but just be patient with me while, while we get through this phase of the season here. So this is what you get. <sighs> So this is what you get at the end of the season, is you get nighttime harvesting. So we are out in the pitch black harvesting our tomatoes. This is the part of the season where I kind of just let the tomatoes finish their life cycle as much as possible, get as much energy into the fruit as they can and then any green ones we can turn into salsa verde and uh, hopefully we get a decent yield off the rest but holy smokes did we ever get a lot of tomatoes this year okay so a quick little nighttime after work jaunt to the supermarket that's outside growing on my front lawn and this is what we got beautiful how cool is this? Just like baskets of food. And then I also got some hazelnuts. So we're getting some of these hazelnuts. There's some more pears there. Just like this is what time it is outside. It is pitch black. Actually so black that you're seeing the reflection. Hello. So I was also thinking of doing a video on what's the differences between permaculture, organic farming, Korean natural farming, jadam, some of these other techniques that people use interchangeably in the permaculture, regenerative agriculture space. Let me know if you think that would be an interesting video. Another one that I want to do, I'm hoping to actually get done this week, is permaculture and politics. And this is going to be kind of an interesting one because I have somebody that I know who is kind of a, a colleague through kids hockey who is into permaculture and they're actually running for political office in our area. So I want to do a video on him. I think it's really important if we can get representation for sustainability. So that should be an exciting video. And uh, I think that's pretty much all I have for now. Okay, there is one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know if you've heard about stable diffusion. So this is something I've been messing around with in my free time a little bit. And what it is, is it's a brand new AI art. Uh, so it's the computer who's actually rendering and creating art based off of just an internet search through billions of web pages and all the art that it has available to it. Um, this is revolutionary and it's going to completely change the way that art is done. Possibly a huge threat to artists and there's a big roar right now. The reason I can show you all these pictures is that there's no copyright on any of this stuff. No artist created it. Nobody has the copyright and it's just free to use. So this is Stable Diffusion. You can check out the subreddit over at reddit slash r slash Stable Diffusion and just see some of the art that people are creating. It's, it's quite fascinating and uh, it's definitely a, an interesting ethical question as well that you can have all this cool art. So anyways, I'll just leave you with the rest of this art and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, leave your comments below what you think about Stable Diffusion. Is this amazing new technology uh, or is this a huge threat to uh, creativity and artists around the world thanks for watching everyone